I'm not, am I? And we can unseal it. My, that is lucky. The Forbidden Sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela. And another storm to endure. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half -gufa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. We start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave. these lands fared in his absence, did he? He would appreciate our efforts out here. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hopgoofa is free. <clears throat> this architecture... It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. Or Hive Matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track, then. Blocked. Could I reach it from down here? Perhaps a different arrow. This kind of hive material is sensitive to sound. When I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's life was operational. I didn't realize it was covered by hive matter. Aye. And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the Light Well, or even our trapped half giffer for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mumir. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. More hive, but denser. <laughs>
Too thick for that. Maybe the Twilight Stone on the ground will help. don't often travel underneath the barrens, do they? Territory changes hands often in Nalfheim, or so it appears. Big Vier did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. <laughs> doesn't like sound, remember? Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? Oh! <laughs> 
I hope freeing these half goofas will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. <clears throat> I wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face once free. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafgufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their life to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Given another chance. Back to the surface, then. Many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine.
the fate of these creatures. It reminds me of a story. Does it? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame of... Kratos, is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, at least it's a relatable story. Years we've overstayed our welcome in our fight. solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know. There is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. Get 
quite misty. It's beautiful. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? <laughs>